Hey guys, at the start of the video here, I'm just going to show you how to install one of these pot lights into an existing track system. Um, if you already have track on your house or you're buying track and want to add the pot lights, you can add them anywhere you want along the line. Um, you just have to find where you, all the lights have individual connectors, so you just have to disconnect the connectors wherever you want the pot light and just splice in the splice the pot light in it's uh yeah <clears throat> it's just as easy as disconnecting the wires and then splicing it in there i would recommend using uh, one foot connectors on the each output on there i'll do a how-to video on this later but use a one foot connector just gives you a little bit more reach through the soffit and usually drill a hole right um, where the track's going to be and then you can pop the wires down through there makes it really easy i did a video on it it took me about five minutes to install a light um, i'll get that up here shortly but just want to show you guys how quick and easy it is to get the light installed okay now that we have the lights hooked up so we have track pot light in between every set of track Three pot lights, a couple pieces of track, and then we got the the rope light at the end. So now we're gonna learn, we're gonna see if we can segment out the pot lights. So what we wanna do is make it so that we can um, we can have a setting to control only the tracks, only the pot lights, or everything together, obviously or just the string lights on the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a segment and we're going to segment out those pot lights. So it's connected to the controller there, obviously. So we're going to go into here. So right now we got the good old Oilers theme going here. So we're going to go to our segments. Now let's figure out, let's count our LEDs. So if we go out here and look, we got one, two, three, four, five. So the pot lights six. So go back to here, we're going to go start LED 5 and stop LED 6 and hit apply. Now you'll see the only thing that's on is that one pot light. So to get the other ones, here we'll just switch this to solid and we'll make it whatever green I like green okay so we're gonna add another segment now let's check and see we got this one going so that one will be the that pot light six so we'll go um, seven eight nine ten eleven so it'll be eleven last LED twelve is the pot light so let's head back we'll go oops sorry get my finger out of there We'll go uh, start LED 11 and stop LED 12. Hit apply. There, now we got two pot lights going. So that'll be that one. If that one's 12, we'll have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 17 and 18. So let's add another segment and we'll say start LED 17 and stop LED 18 and hit apply. There, now you can see we got just the three pot lights going. We'll just, uh, you know, for all fun purposes, we'll just change the color just to make sure. Green, blue, I mean red, shut the lights off. Yeah, those things are bright. Okay, so we got that. So now let's take that, create it as a preset. So set as a preset, let's say pot lights only. Hit save. Now, if we go back to say my Halloween theme, oh, still pot lights. Click 
click on the Oilers. There you go. So now we got everything going again. All the lights are going on the old Oilers theme. So now let's go back down to pot lights. Pot lights only. Just collapse that. So click on that. There. So now you have control. If you want to just have your pot lights on at night, you can just segment them out and run just your pot lights, or you can take you can segment out your pot lights and only have track lights or run them all together. Now let's say at the very end of that string, um, let's go back to Oilers here. Okay, so now at the very end of the string we have um, this rope light. So let's just say we want just the rope light. So we're gonna go I don't know where we're going to be at there, probably like 16, I'll we'll say stop LED 17. Hit apply. Okay, so that turned on one lonely light on down here. So that's not right, so that was 18. So that one, yeah, that one's 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we'll say 24, 24 and 25. So let's go 24, stop, 25, apply. Oh, right, yeah. I guess the um, rope light consists of more than just one. It's not just a pot light. So we'll go 24 up to, oh, I'm going to say there's a lot on there. So 60. Oh, God, there's way more. That only lit up a small, small portion of it. So we'll go right up to like 120. Okay, so there. Now we got the whole rope light lit up. And we can put it on, I don't know, Christmas C9, Christmas moving C9. You can see it's going there. So now we, what do we do next? Save it as a preset. Create a preset, uh, rope light, save it, go back to the old oilers, everything's on, let's go back to here and click on rope light, and there, you just have control of that. So if you have multiple rope lights on like connect to your track, then you can segment them all out and just control them completely separately and do something different with them. So like if I got that going there and then you could, you know, you could do something completely different. You could add another segment and do something with a part of your track. You could go from zero to, um, I don't know what's the first part of the track. There would be just five. So apply that, you know, it lit up that section of track there, make it a bit brighter. Got the rope light, that first section of track. So you can just do whatever you want, really, however you want to make it. But I was more concerned with just showing how you can, once you add these pot lights, how you can, um, you know, control them separately. Okay, now let's try and just segment out the track. So we know the track, there's five lights in a track. So the first one's easy. We're gonna go um, zero to five. Apply. Okay, we got the first piece of track. So then the pot light's gonna be six. So we gotta skip six, go straight to seven. So we're gonna go seven and then end at, I guess that would be 11. Oops, I just messed that up. I needed to create one, so we'll go back, go zero to five, apply. That's the first piece of track, so add a segment. We're gonna go uh, six would be the pot light, so seven, 11. Hit that. Oh, see we got one that's not out, so I guess, actually, yeah, that would be six, so I guess we'll have to go 
change that to 6 to 11. Why? Okay. So we got all track lights on. Some there, some there. No pot lights. So that's pretty easy. We know that um, we got to skip one. So that was 11. So that stop LED on the last one was 11. So we'll go add a new segment. Skip one. So we'll go 12, 13. Um, add five, six, seven, eight. We'll go eighteen. Try that. Oh, I guess you got to go. Yeah. Okay. So if we ended eleven on that last one, start out oh, just. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't do twelve. So twelve, seventeen. Okay. So we got those two pieces of track and then the last piece of track we'll add one more segment so we ended at 17 let's start at 18 and we'll go 18 19 20 21 22 23 so we'll go down 23 see if that works apply there. So now we got all the tracks on and no pot lights. So create a preset. Just call it just track. And we'll save. Okay, so we have just track. Let's go back to Oilers. And let's go um, pot lights only. And then let's go just track. And last but not least, rope light. There we go. Wasn't that hard. It takes time to set up, but once you got it set up, you always have it and you always have control over all those things. So um, yeah, if you need any help, give me a shout, reach out to me, comments below. I can give you guys a hand if there's, you have any issues with this, but I think most of you guys got this figured. Thanks, bye.